Mona Vista TV. I'm your host, Kelly Stone. And I'm McKenna Dolliver. This is your first Daily Bulletin on... Friday, October 26, 2012. This week's RC football game will be played in honor of fallen California Highway Patrol officer Kenyon Youngstrom. We will be collecting donations and selling commemorative bracelets at $5 each. All proceeds will be deposited directly into Officer Kenyon Youngstrom's Memorial Fund set up for his children at Wells Fargo Bank. Admission for law enforcement officers and their family is complimentary. We are going to be offering the plan test or the pre-ACT test. This test is only offered once a year and will be given on Saturday, November 3rd from 8.30 to 11.30 a.m. at Monta Vista. Tickets will be sold to sophomores only. Tickets will be sold for $35 through the web store through Wednesday, October 31st. Hey, senior, senior apparel will be sold today in front of the office. Want to hone your math skills and have fun problem solving? Interested in competing in nationwide competitions? Join Math Club in our very first competition on Tuesday, November 6th, after school in Miss Spilker's room, 532. Calling all volunteers, do you want to showcase your talent and put smiles on the faces of seniors in our community? Join Smiles for Seniors Club on November 10th and 18th, 2 to 4 p.m. events in Danville. The Children's Foundation is having a Halloween costume drive for the next few weeks leading up to the 31st of October. Bring in your old, gently used costumes and accessories or new ones to donate. There will be boxes placed around the school to put these donations in. Please donate and make another child's Halloween one to remember. <laughs> if you're planning on trying out for a winter sport, your completed sports packet must be turned into the bookkeeper's office today. Winter sports tryouts will begin on Monday, November 5th after school. Set aside and mark your calendar for Tuesday, October 30th for College Night at San Ramon Valley High School. College Night will run from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. The very first Alzheimer's Awareness Club will be meeting at lunch in Mrs. Harris's room next Monday, October 29th. We will provide cookies. Um, new members are welcome to come and join. Do you want to receive updates or see what's going on around school? Then don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at StangMob. For specific class information, seniors follow at 2013MV, juniors follow at MVHS class of 2014, and sophomores follow at MV underscore class of 2015. And now to Maddie Galindo for our inside report about MVP Club. Hi, I'm Kelsey Hirsch, filling in for Maddie Galindo. She has fallen into the construction site pond. Unfortunate. We are about to go into the MVP club meeting in action. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. What are your names? Michael. DJ. Connor. Okay, so what does MVP stand for? MVP stands for Mona Vista Pride. What do you have to say about the MVP club? Um, well, the MVP club is for uh, students to get their ideas out about Monta Vista, whether it be a t-shirt or idea for Spirit Day, anything, you can come to our meetings. Everyone's welcome. Sounds great. Now fill me in on how the club came to be. So over the past three years, I would hear some really good ideas just talking to friends in class about what they want to see out on the Monta Vista campus, but they didn't have an opportunity to act upon that. So that's what this club is for. Um, we wanted to give students an opportunity to um, make a difference on campus. Tell us your ideas and we'll make it happen. But, yeah. So when is the next meeting? Next meeting is November 1st in the theater. That's Thursday before the San Ramon game. You heard it here first, folks. I'm Kelsey Hirsch. Back to you. Thank you, Maddie, for that riveting report. And now on to our sports correspondent, McKinkin. Hello, Monta Vista. Today, we have a football game versus Amador. It's at home and it starts at 7. Tuesday, October 30th, women's volleyball is at home versus Granada. That starts at 6.30. Don't forget the big rivalry game versus San Ramon is coming up next Friday, November 2nd. Now for some highlights. Monta Vista started the game off well with a 25-yard first down conversion with Zach Chang on the draw play. The Stangs couldn't capitalize, but the strong defense stepped up big with a fumble forced by Carson Milner and recovered by Anders Turner. Soon after, the Mustangs got on the board with a 34-yard field goal by John DeMaio. And just before the half, the Mustangs got a big play from Nikita Zamora to Jalen Avery 
through the air for a Mustang first down. Later in the game, John DeMaio tacked on another field goal and finished the day three for three. Thank you, our sports reporter. This year we'll be continuing our use of the internet with Instagram and Twitter. Hashtags. This week's hashtag is hashtag trick or treat MV. Send in your favorite things about Halloween. Or trick or treating. Halloween. To Twitter or Instagram. Instagram, Twitter. Before we leave, we need your help. Calling all lifeguards. Come help out at the construction site. Yes. Where a pool is forming. Make sure our workers don't drown. Make sure not to look up so you don't drown in the rain. Goodbye. <laughs>